Welcome back to our commentaries on Doctor Who, and today we are starting the debut, at least officially, of one Stephen Moffat writes, writing to the Doctor Who series. This is The Empty Child. Please, please, I have no idea who you're talking about. This clearly is a completely unknown person to me. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 it's almost like there were two Stephen Moffats. One that actually knew what the fuck he was doing, and the other one who wrecked continuity with every episode. Maybe that's the maybe that's the secret. He actually has an evil twin that occasionally takes over. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Hmm, I feel like wrecking continuity. In case you don't know, know audience, even Moffat uh, is not not a Doctor Who has written for stuff like Sherlock, and he's infamous for taking a lot of risk with his writing. Some when it pays off, he creates very good things. But when it doesn't pay off, it creates some very stupid stuff. Thankfully, it's not a case here. These two parties are actually really good. Yeah, so, uh, okay, start as soon as the episode begins with space. Okay, three, two, one, click. Yeah, this episode also premieres uh, uh, the appearance of, uh, well, at least for this season, a guest character. Of uh, Doctor Who, which will also be incorporated in Torchwood. Mm -hmm. Oh, I forgot about that. But uh, how could you forget something that was filmed in your own country, Shayroy? <laughs> <laughs> oh. There you go. The yep. episode starts with the, the Doctor following an, a mysterious object through time and space. Classic beginning. He drives a mysterious object for time and space. <laughs> I love how they're reusing the title sequence from the show that we're going to see like a few seconds later. Leaves, leaves. Uh, what well, you told you, the BBC has the budget of a, of a lunch money, so we kind of need to cut corners. But or is this is... their attempt at fourth wall? I'm not sure. <laughs> but this is mid-2000s BBC. They could actually, they have... afford... They could actually they afford to can... run BBC Three back then. Oh, man. Uh, yes, Yuri? They could at least afford an actual dinner, not just a sandwich. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Empty Child by... Some Stone guy. guy. Yeah. He's not important. <laughs> I'm sure he isn't. Mm. So here we are. Um, destined to be kings, London. Yeah, yeah, yeah basically, Reeves. Hmm? I mentioned this uh, in our pen commentary. I was fearing, fearing, realizing that uh, maybe the beginning of it we was set to during this sequence. <laughs> yeah, and then, um, and then the man deciphered runs by with a baby and. <laughs> No, 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 in that case, no, like, the doctor spots a gigantic flying galleon out of nowhere going <laughs> somewhere. He's like, what the fuck is that? Yeah, yeah, he's a time lord, he's seen a lot of weird shit, but that, 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 that is makes... breaking the straws. <laughs> yeah. Spock. Also, yeah, I took the occasion to also explain a bit about the psychic cards again, just in case. Yeah, I was about to question the obligatory Union Jack t-shirt. Get it, guys, because we're British. Also, the fact that, once again, as I reiterate, Rose fashion design keeps sucking. <laughs> so, um, other than them getting, like, studio film stuff, uh... Um, some bits of London are actually Barry Tourist Railway. As in Barry Island? Yeah. Ah. And also, the, Rose and clearly of... hasn't watched enough horror movies, because if you hear a child calling you in the dark, you run the fuck away. And a holiday, and a Butlins holiday camp, which is now demolished. Yep, this is out of Butlins. <laughs> <laughs> Although, funnily enough, they actually used Barry Island during the filming of a Seventh Doctor episode called Delta and the Bannerman, so yeah, filming in Wales wasn't always exclusive to the new series. But I think the difference is that, you know, 
I think I, my guess is what in that episode that was filmed at like a that that was set during on a planet or a place where you could just film anything, and it would and it would no one would mind. Ah yes, the nineteen forties, full of um those kind, like that kind of music, jazz. Hi. Uh... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> oh, she I didn't know the doctor was such a great comedian. <laughs> <laughs> no, everyone's laughing away their pain from the chicken little move. Yes, it in was around in, this time, in, if I recall, right? In, in, Wait, was it? In 2005? Yeah. Oh. I think now, I was, so. I was going to say, Shiri, what, in, in World War, what, Chicken that was released in World War Two? What, did the Nazis use that as a weapon? It transcends time. It's just that bad. <laughs> oh. Speaking of things falling from the sky. Yeah. I'm surprised the doctor wasn't familiar with that particular siren from the get go. It's pretty distinct. Also, he didn't look at the TARDIS monitor to tell the way he landed. My, that's inaccurate. He, he somehow, the TARDIS somehow thought 1869 Cardiff was 1860 Naples. The TARDIS is a very sensible being, baby. No. In the meantime, Rose is being stupid. What, what, what's that? What else is. <laughs> Uh, help! Jesus, the fact that uh, the, the fact that she's blonde doesn't help. Like you're you're giving a bad name to blondies. I'm pretty sure she dyed her hair, so I don't feel that embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> hey, someone's wearing a also, Union Jack shooter. Also, some of the blue, the big, the big, the green screens uh, where Rose is dangling from the rope are just terrible. <laughs> I mean, the CGI for this episode is fine, Aww. for the most part. Oh. Um, guys, are your phones ringing? <laughs> <laughs> I like how that cat was perfectly okay with all that. Yes. Mm -hmm. Although it looked a bit very confused. Yeah. <laughs> That's, I guess, the charming of animals on set. Either they look pissed off or confused. Why not? Yeah, I'm sorry, who are you? Okay, so, uh, the Doctor's apparently dealing with Batgirl. <laughs> How does he do that? Uh, Batgirl is Nancy, played by an actress named Florence Heath, who apparently is no longer acting. Oh. Did she do anything particular? Um, other than Doctor Who, she was in an episode of Agatha Christie's Marple. Oh, I remember that. Uh, Family Affairs, Channel 5's failed attempt at a soap opera. <laughs> uh, Doctors, a daytime BBC soap that's still going. What a, what a, what a irony. And her last credit to date was a TV miniseries called Lost in Austin. <laughs> Well, move. <laughs> I 
I guess re- this. I guess this really is the reason why nobody noticed the fucking galleon outside of the military forces of UK, and because everyone else was refuging, taking refuge. Hell no. I gotta say, uh, for the 1940s, the food actually doesn't look that bad. <laughs> it's not an anime, <laughs> but the food still looks great. Uh, 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 Hagan I see a girl wearing your, your jack shirt hanging on rope from Blib. What should Please, we do? Uh, what did I told you of not drinking too much beer before <laughs> going to battle? <laughs> but, but I didn't drink any, sir. I swear. Final. <laughs> And somewhere Hitler is thinking that it's something clear or cult that he needs to harvest for his power. Mm-hmm. Like you know, that, 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 that's like uh, uh, historical fantasy 101. Hitler wants uh, an artifact of your cult. Uh... Yeah. So yeah, I disagree. So, there's Captain Jack, played by... Uh, but I'm not John Travolta, but someone else. He's a different John. John Barrowman, who's actually Scottish. Well, huh. but he's Scottish-American. He moved to the US, gained the accent, hasn't left it, hasn't lost the accent since. And interjects it wherever he can. Yeah. But, uh, a lot of people know him for Doctor Who, obviously, but he's also in stuff such as like the first series of Live and Kicking round here. Huh. And Torchwood, because you seem to be avoiding that. <laughs> uh, Jerry, that first season, you got to give yourself credit, okay? Okay, I will. <laughs> well, he also does a lot of TV shows about dogs. Okay, oh. when I say the first season, I stopped at the episode where it turned out Gwen was two-timing her boyfriend, so... Yeah, yeah. Oh, and he was also in... The 2005 version of The Producers. He was one of the lead stormtroopers. He's a tenor in that film. Wait, he was in Zero Dark Thirty? Oh, sorry, what the... He was, he was, he was in Zero Dark Thirty. Jeez. Nothing weird about this at all. And yeah, the Fireman oh, Sam film. Totally. The said pattern, eh? Yeah. Oh, and he was also in Arrow. <laughs> what role did he have? Razal Ghoul. Really? That was him? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Gee, Rose, when you say it like that, it sounds really stupid. <laughs> Maybe you should have considered your life choices. Yeah, just uh, just hang out and relax. Um, oh well. <laughs> uh, grip your hands. I don't know. <laughs> uh, sure. I see more ridiculous things. I see girl abducted by aliens. <laughs> uh, of course. Rose instantly gets infatuated by him. Like, uh, Rose, Rose, you have Mickey. Your fucking hormones, Rose. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Um, Rose, I'm pretty sure you're not his type. Yeah. Well, not John Barrowman. <laughs> she doesn't know yet. Yeah, that, that's the joke. Yeah. <laughs> but, oh, something may linger in the streets. Is it Jack the Ripper? 
I mean, every time they cut to London to one of these historical things, is usually Jack the Ripper. Maybe it's Jack Ripper's son? Well, descendant, I guess. So. <laughs> See? <laughs> If you, yeah. No black, one wants to do the washing up. The black market is the bad word. The words. Hey, you took two slices. <laughs> uh, <laughs> how did he get there? <laughs> he just that cool. Yeah, so why not stay? I mean, it's not like one more undivided guest is going to cause any harm. <laughs> no, no, actually, some some of them actually went to to Narnia. Yeah. Yeah. Long story. Yeah, one of them, a few of them, got sent to a. Uh, Decent, but not altogether spectacular adaptation. They don't know what that is I yet. I never got that reference. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. But the doctor's hungry. You and he's got to eat. He needs to eat. And considering his full taste for the entire franchise, this is actually tame. Just getting some roast. A oh. sausage? Oh boy. Uh oh. God, what's with the camera angles, Dweebs? Um, James Hawes felt like he wanted to emulate. Notice my directing? <laughs> I think so. Go on, shift. Oh, well. you know, you, I mean, I don't know what's worse. Being turned into him or having to put up with him saying, Bobby, Bobby. <laughs> you know, honestly, to you, considering Stephen Moffat liked to overuse villains. Yeah. And during his tenure, I'm surprised he didn't bring back this kind of character. I guess considering what happens uh, at the end of a two part, it would have been a bit hard to do it. <laughs> oh, oh. Theo, it's Stephen Boffa. Continuity is nothing. Yeah, to yeah, yeah, yes, found uh, more convoluted ways, yeah. I, I, I admit, yeah. Um, okay, so, um, so his power is that he can make phones ring. Yes, he's just that good, I guess. Sir. None of your phones are ringing, are they? Nope. Uh, are you sure? No. Ah, good. And they can also make radios work and... Very creepy toys. <laughs> Seriously, whoever had that fucking monkey in their house, I don't understand that. Probably the dad or something, I don't know. Hmm. There's an interesting Scarvo. I wouldn't touch him, Doctor. No.
Doctor, no. Doctor, I know that you're still recovering from your rustiness, but you shouldn't do this. Oh. Okay. Um, oh, wow. So, the kid's Bruce Wayne's son. <laughs> I gotta love how Captain Jack has a moving chair, kind of like in Star Trek. Yeah, considering John Barrowman's the same, I'm surprised he'd go like, hello, hello, hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so back then, Americans or British could join each other's militaries. During because of, of course they could. During times of war. Well, I'm guessing it was a, like a stipulation after the the Independence War. Okay, his character's name in Arrow and you know the Flash was a guy named Malcolm Merlin slash Dark Archer. Was okay. That, was that Razal Ghul as well? I'm confused. No, 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 no. Razal Ghul is Razal Ghul. He doesn't have like a secret identity or something. So Jack here is trying to to say that despite Rose having a boyfriend, she may see herself as available. Um, maybe they're in a poly relationship. I don't no. think Rose even know what that is. Yeah, Rose. I, I forgot what age is she supposed to be. Nineteen. So barely after her that hor horny teenager say. I think her hormones are still full through the roof, though. Come on, Rose. Let's climb up on the top of my ship. The time agents? Really? Time agent. You think, you think whoever runs the time agency, or whatever it's called, you think they'd hire this woman? That's another thing of Moffat, uh, bringing, like, f fucking up continuity uh, occasionally by introducing new things that have never been uh, mentioned before, but pretending they were existing all the time. Which, by Doctor Who standards, it shouldn't be that much, especially because it is how, like, new races get introduced, but it's still that uh, awkward, more or less. Yeah. From the point of this episode, when did Torchwood actually start airing? 2006. Okay. So they, um, yeah, they gave it a year and, well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That green screen also isn't very good. Yeah. Look at me, Rose, I'm on my, um, invisible spaceship. <laughs> Well, good job. The lights are off, eh? Otherwise, the Germans. Yeah. Would, um... Actually, trying to harness this technology. Yeah. Hey, at least they get nice champagne during an air raid. <laughs> well, it, it, maybe it could be worse. It could be like in bed knocks and broomsticks, where I forgot uh, the name of a character. Basically occupies uh, a villa that was evacuated because of the bombings. So. Hmm. Well. Um, Shiroi, wasn't Gavin, wasn't Gavin and Stacy filmed on Barry Island? Partially, yes. So, so where's James Corden then? Bit early for that. Ah. <laughs> I think. And also the last couple Actually, of Actually, no, wouldn't it have been around now? Also, the last couple of series of Being Human were filmed there. 
I didn't watch all of those. We didn't get to the Barry Island era. Um, Gavin and Stacey started in 2007. Oh, okay. So it was a while later. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, Bob's this guy is crazy, kid. You just don't want to hang out with him. Uh, oh boy. Yeah. Gaze, ga oh yeah. By the way, folks, Moffat like Moffat absolutely loves jokes related to doctors or Doctor Who. Like, okay. Uh, to be fair, around this time, outside from the the obvious jokes uh, around the beginning of a franchise. Uh, the meaning of why the Doctor decides to call himself or the whole Doctor Who thing uh, was never analyzed that much. So when Moffat tried to do that again in the 11th Doctor uh, seasons uh, by exploring it, I could have seen where it was coming from. I think it was around, about, it was about time it was uh, kind of like deepened. The problem is that Moffat uh, a approaching to the argument is the equivalent of masturbating in front of a camera and say and asking how good he is. That's that's sad. Um, not for nothing, guys. But is I'm not quite sure lighting up one of London's most iconic landmarks during an air raid is a good idea. Leaves sometimes the urge to lemon is bigger than common sense. <laughs> It's mood lighting, Dwarves. But the Germans aren't going to give a shit, are they? <laughs> World War II. Maybe the lights are invisible to them too, I don't know. <laughs> World War II ones, more accurately, and the ones that are bombing us at the minute. Jack is a little handsy, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. Chula. Um, oh, funny thing about the word Chula. Uh, let me get it, let me get it up. Uh, uh, Chula was the name of some random Indian Bangladeshi restaurant in Hammersmith. Ha! Okay. Where the writers, where the writers went to celebrate and discuss writing on their scripts after they were commissioned by Russell T. Davis. Um, that's nice, I guess. I guess it's a step up from writing in a coffee shop. But that's the thing. Why London? The show's made in Cardiff now. Are there... I'm sure there are plenty of good restaurants there. The BBC studio, though. Uh, was this Captain Jacks? Was this John? You know, I get to think this was John Barrowman secretly going through an audition or something. He went through. Maybe he wanted to be the Doctor or something. I don't know. <laughs> Which would have been impressive an American Doctor, but well, Doctor Who's a British show, so yeah, oh, stick to Brits. Yeah, because you know we all know how well. How well it turned out when we didn't ask someone from the British Isles playing James Bond. We know how well it went for Torchwood when it went over to America. Yeah. And yes, I know, Pierce Brosnan's from the Republic of Ireland, but, well, semantics. UK still salty they couldn't conquer the entire Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> um, mostly I was on about George Lazenby. I still haven't seen the final episode of uh, whatever that series was called. Miracle Day? There we go. Well, I haven't gotten to Miracle Day. Ah. I saw like a little bit of Children of Earth, but it was a um, bit of a spoiler. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Aww. yeah, yeah, 
Yeah, sometimes the Doctor is a... I'd uh, avoid the piece two and two together. Yeah. Yeah, I still think I've wondered, how did... Hitler had, like, all of Europe conquered at this point. How did he manage to lose all of it so quickly after getting Com it? Complication of different things. Uh, uh, handling a bigger territory in little time, manufacturing, uh, um, opposing weather conditions as well, having to deal with the intelligence, uh, because remember, coding was also a thing. Uh, like, a, a combination of other things. The... The fast war that he was thinking about uh, just wasn't uh, applying on the long run. And well, the less being said about Russia, the better. So basically, uh, Hitler was stupid. The more, more like he wasn't thinking too much on the long run. He was really thinking he would have won that fast. He thought too much in the moment, really. Yeah. He didn't plan that far ahead. <laughs> Also, very ominous. So. Um, Albion Hospital. Okay, whereabouts in Cardiff was this filmed? <laughs> the Empty Child. Let's see. Well... Looks like the hospital they used for Harry Potter. Yeah. <laughs> A bit. Um, <laughs> yeah, well, oh, you're right. It does look a little bit like that. It does. <laughs> <laughs> it's basically, it's the same hospital that they used to film... It's the same hospital that was used in Aliens of London. Hmm. So, what was it? Cardiff Royal Infirmary or somewhere? I actually don't know. I don't tend to go to hospitals. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, the doctor actually meets a doctor. Shocking. Dr. Constantine. Uh, he's played by Richard Wilson. He's a Scottish actor and he's uh, been in stuff like Merlin. Yeah, I heard him already. His name, I mean. Um, Emmerdale. Right. The, the UK's attempt at making a game show about Cluedo. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Father Ted. The F word. Um, again, Wait, what? Yeah, there was a comedy called. Uh, the F actually, word. Actually, actually, though, there was a food. It was a food show starring Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> okay, that makes more sense. Yeah. Oh, he was in. Romeo and Juliet and Sherlock Holmes. Uh, that was uh, a bad movie. <laughs> what, what, Romeo and Juliet and oh. Sherlock Holmes. Yeah, I, I haven't seen the other one. <laughs> but yeah, apparently the patient presents all the same conditions and symptoms. Hmm. And they all have the same mark. So this is more of a plague, really. Zombie apocalypse figures. I love how also the doctor uh, here, I mean, our doctor, ask a question like Nicolas Cage does in The, um, the Wicked Man. How did you get burned? How did you get burned? <laughs> you see, guys, this is why doctors wear gloves. Hygiene and all that shit. Yeah. And if you don't, yeah, so basically the moral of the story is if you don't wear gloves while performing like an operation or an examination, you'll end up turning into a gas mask person. And watch your hands, pigs. 
They're a disinfectant on pretty much every other hospital corridor for a reason. Yeah. Not just that, Dweebs. Uh, t- I'm telling you for personal experience, uh, for professional stuff, uh, your hands should be washed all the goddamn time. So yeah, for its first introduction, Moffat decides to introduce a concept similar to a zombie apocalypse to Doctor Who. Get used to it. Again, it just works for the condition of his episode, but it still doesn't change the fact that he really wanted to escalate things already. Wait, the Doctor was a dad? Um... Probably referring to just the doctor, but yeah, he's uh, succumbing. Yeah. Once again, folks, your your CGI taste will have to be tested for this. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Uh, oh god. This is painful. Oh, by the way, this sound effect wasn't in the air when this episode was airing. So we just uh, added in? In the DVD release, yeah. Charming. Well, Shit. that was a lovely sequence. Totally. Doctor, you might want to evacuate. Oh. Don't enter. So, <laughs> so what a surprise. Uh, the doctor loses Rosa uh, for a couple of seconds and she fucks up things. Uh, what else is Mr. new? Mr. Spock? Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, lol? Also, don't ask about the name. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, uh, it's a restaurant in London. Oh. Uh, yeah. Come play with us forever Stop. and Leave ever. Leave me alone, for fuck's sake. Uh, uh, yeah, hide under the table. I'm sure he'll never <laughs> find you there. <laughs> to be fair, like, that's the only defensive maneuver she knows. Oh, an so that's what, yeah, that's surprising enough it wasn't a, ma- a weapon of mass destruction, but an ambulance. Oh, and it was Captain Jack. He threw the thing at, the, at them so that they'd follow it. Nice job, you hero. <laughs> you boat captain. <laughs> you, you do know these what the U boats are, right? No, submarines, but yeah, it needs to be very. Uh, it doesn't need to be that eccentric. Oh, 
Um, the point, Doctor, is... Um, to Running see... the fuck away. Yeah. And the point is also to see how... Um, how easy it would be if gas masks just appeared on people. I don't know. Okay, run the fuck away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, mommy, I've got the power to shut doors. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> no. Yeah. Jesus. Um, uh, I'm your mommy. I don't know what else is going to work. Oh, and they do get up. Well, remember, Shira, the only thing that was sort of keeping them at bay is now one of them. Uh, okay. Well, there's a window behind us. Maybe we could... Jump. Well, I remember we are like at uh, the upper floor, so it's yeah. Like... They're still on the five hundred and whatever floor, are or gonna... did they go back down? No, 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 they're back down to the other one with the doctor, actually. So it probably won't be that bad. So, how will the doctor and Rose get out of this one? We won't know that yet. Okay, we got. Um, I think technically, the... yeah, this is a two-parter, so yeah. But yeah, mm -hmm. that will be after the um, credits. So uh, basically, the BBC realised that maybe we just... shouldn't spoil the, the next we episode spoil immediately. The stuff. <laughs> we should give people a chance to switch. The Actually, channel. watch the episode. You know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's weird how it took until the ninth episode to figure that out, but still. I'm not sure how, but there we go. Better late than never. So, mm -hmm. uh, that was the empty child thoughts. Again, it's uh, it, it it really shows uh, the idea of what Moffat wants to do. So, but uh, again, it's compensated by actually giving an interesting idea this time around and not fucking up things uh, too mm -hmm. much for the Doctor and uh, Rose. Well, aside from Rose getting infatuated on nowhere by Captain Jack, but. Uh, it's Rose, uh, it's something that she should probably do. She needs Jesus to deal Christ. with it. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, I, mean, I mean, yes, it's true. I really, really feel sorry for Miki. I mean, yes. yeah. I mean, what I, did he do wrong, seriously? I mean, I know it's John Barrowman, but still. Right. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> to join us for the uh, next part, the Doctor dances. Yep. Spoilers, guys. <laughs> He's on Strictly, guys. Yeah, uh, was there any Doctor or any from anyone from Doctor Who ever on Strictly? I don't uh, think so. See ya. Yeah, see ya. See ya.